guys, it's Rochelle from Model Lane Furniture again um, in warm Sydney now. Same day as the last two videos, but now it's warm. I'm trying to get as many videos done as possible today so I can schedule them through the week just to manage my time a little better. Anyway, today I'm going to be working on this coffee table. I'm actually just going to focus on um, sanding the veneer um, because that is a question that I get asked a lot. So I'll just focus on that for this video. Let's go and have a look. Right, so there's no doubt whatsoever that this is a veneer, a very pretty veneer, but a veneer all the same. Now, if we look underneath here, it's, well, what do you call it, chipboard, um, particle board, I'm not sure what the going names of it is, but it's all veneer. So what I'm going to do is just look at sanding the very top of this veneer, because if i sanding this around here, isn't going to really give me anything that's going to be just um a coating over top of the chipboard or whatever it is this is the only part i'm going to be looking at sanding that's just got the pattern on all right so let's have a look right so what is veneer veneer is just very thin wood it's um a way of making a piece of furniture look really <laughs> special without having the cost of that thick solid wood so It'll be cheap, um, chipboard, MDF, whatever, ply, which is just covered with a sheet of very thin wood. So with it being wood, it can still be sanded. You just have to be really careful. Veneer and laminate are very different. Laminate is almost a coating that goes on, like a plastic coating that sticks on or whatever. Oh. Helicopter going overhead, thank you very much. So. I'm going in with a 120 grit that's as low as I need to go with this sander just because it's a really good quality sander um, so it's the Bosch GEX 125 AVE professional when you're looking at Bosch the blue ones are the professional ones okay so now it's a 120 grit and I'm just gonna be careful so literally you, you you can go through it so because it's so thin you can sand through it and once you've sanded through veneer, veneer you're screwed there's no going back from that you have to either paint it or do an effect on it there's no going back so let's just have a look here okay i'll sand a little bit take the sound off because it's pretty noisy and then we'll come back and have a look So this is coming up really, really beautiful. And it would be easy to be tempted to just sand around there in the hope that you've got this solid wood and then it's gonna follow through. It's not going to be. This is veneer. That around there will be a piece of crap, to put it bluntly. But I'm gonna get a nice clean edge here so I'll be able to stain the top and paint this. When I smooth sand this, I've gotta be really careful because it's a thin veneer. So I'm going to be really careful when I paint this area because that's how I smooth these edges off as I sand it. But I'll carry on with this. This is going to look really, really lovely. But it's just a case of being careful. Do not go overboard. Don't get distracted. It's easy to get distracted and go over these edges. And once you've gone over and you've broken through, there's no going back. Right, let's get on with this and get this all sanded. So you can see this is quite a thick coating that's on here. Um, because you've got this really definitive edge. So sometimes when it's like that, this isn't. But well, sometimes when it's like, like that, it really eats away at the sandpaper. So it can take a while to come off because I've got a good sander. Um, it's it's coming off fine for me. But alternatively, you could use a stripper as well. I don't particularly like using strippers; they're my last resort. But you certainly could do. Right, I just need to empty this. You'd be surprised how often you need to empty these. Right, 
and then we'll carry on. So I'll just work on this and it's just like any grain, any sanding, stick with the grain and I just keep it moving. So uh, you will see me going across the grain a little bit just as I'm moving from one side to the other. But predominantly you're following the grain and just keeping it moving. So it'll be moving on its own anyway because this is a random or orbital which means it moves off center. But I just keep it moving as well, just very slightly. You don't want it sitting in one spot and creating the circles. So just very slightly moving. And don't be going all over the place like that. You've got to give it time to work. So slowly. I always work in patches. I generally go one side up. So now I've got um, a bigger section off. You can see that it's actually pieces of veneer. It's not um, one big sheet of veneer, which sometimes it is. But I mean, you can see the pattern before I sanded. You can see the pattern in there, but now it's more obvious. So you've got this square of veneer, another one going a different way. So I've only just realized it was going a different way. So really I should be going that way with the grain now. Right, so I'll carry on getting on with this we'll come back and look when it's all done okay here's how quick it is how easy it is to go through i just slipped a little bit and you see that line there i've gone through the veneer it's only very minimal so i'll be able to get away with it but that's chipboard underneath okay be careful guys <laughs> do as i say not as i do there it is all done she's come up beautifully um it's a bit patchy at the minute but i'm okay with that I didn't want to work, uh, work it too hard because I've still got to do a smooth sand. It's actually really smooth already, um, but I still need to do a smooth sand, so I'll take care of these um, blemishes at that point. So that's it. I'll do another video when I actually finish this, this table. At the moment, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I thought it might be useful for you to have a video just on its own showing me sand in veneer. I can just basically direct people to this video then because it is a really common question. It's a question that I had as well. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm thinking about putting some decoupage on the drawers. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Look out for the next video. I'm sure this will be what I do on the next one. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. If you could like and subscribe, I would love you forever. Chat soon.